How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to Mining with Ryan. In today's episode, we are doing a build challenge suggested by you, the community, and this one was suggested by Funny AI Stories 69. Now, I wish I was kidding, lol, but uh, that's actually the name of this user, one of my most loyal viewers. So, shout out to you, my friend. And uh, yeah, he wants me to build a store. So, that's what we're going to do. We have 30 minutes to build a store. First things first, I'm going to make it daytime and then uh, let's get down to business. All right, let's start the timer and challenge is on. So I think I'm going to start this one off. Oops, I'm <laughs> doing nothing apparently. Um, okay, I think I'm going to start this one off using tough, right? So uh, this is obviously just going to be a building. And, and really the, the key thing here is like, let's try and make this building look as nice as possible within 30 minutes, right? Because um, building a store, I mean, it's basically just like building a building, you know what I mean? So my, or that's my take on it anyways. And obviously I need to have some sort of like merchandise that I end up selling, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so let's take a look at how I did this. So I have four in the middle here. I should make that five in the middle actually. So let's make that five in the middle. Okay. And then from there we can kind of go up. So I think I want two. And then two, and then we can call it a building, or at least we can use the tough for two and two right there. Mm, let's do two and then one and then go up one right here as well. Okay, that's perfect. Then I think what we can do here is we can go ahead and get polished deep slate on the outside. Right, and then kind of polish deep slate through the middle here. And then maybe I can even use glass kind of for the entrance. Uh, let's see. So obviously I want a door in this middle one right here. Uh, let's see, what kind of door do I want to make? For now, we'll go with the classic. We'll go with oak wood. Okay. All right, and then let's get glass here in the middle. Right, so everything that's not tough or deep slate here. How do I want to handle this though? So maybe right here, let's get rid of that and we can just do the tough kind of up through there. Uh, all right, so we have two at this layer, so I need to get rid of that. And we have one at that layer and then one at a higher layer. So there we go. Boom. Then we can get the tough on, or the deep slate on the outside right here. Voila. Thank you, beauty. Okay, so we have the front entrance taken care of, right? Um, now let's actually get to the store itself. Now this is where I'm probably gonna have to mix things up a little bit because I really don't have that much tough, to be quite honest. So we might have to use deep slate for the other walls. Tough just to kind of make the the main walls interesting looking. So let's go ahead and take this deep slate. I really need to empty out my inventory a little bit. Um, let's put some junk away in here. Want that deep slate. Okay. So all this deep slate, I think I'm going to use for the walls. Um, just polish deep slate. Oops, that's basalt apparently. Well, that's fine, I guess. Okay. As for the interior, like you think of a store, right? I think there's like layers of items, you know what I mean? So like you have a couple layers worth of items and then you kind of have a register at the front. That's kind of what I'm thinking for the store right here. There we go. You know, what I could do to make this a little easier, since I don't have that much polished deep slate, is each wall could be some sort of different material, right? So it's always surrounded by the deep slate. But then each wall could be a different stone, you know what I mean? Like I could have basalt for a wall. I could have, obviously the front, I have tuft and then glass. So 
so yeah, this actually I need to undo that super quick. Oh yeah, one thing I might want too is like a little dog friend because at the theme park I have a little information kiosk there and I put a dog in there, but I don't think I have another dog right now. Like a dog to like man the register, you know what I mean? All right, let's get basalt from one of these. I could just do, I have to be careful because I don't have that much glass. Uh, let's see, but let's do the same thing for each wall. Although I don't know if I have it the same length either. That's interesting. Let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's 11 in total. So what I can do is kind of like three. Okay, so corners like that. So I'll do basalt on each side. And then the back can probably be a little bit different. So basalt in each of the corners all the way to the top. Next layer, less so. Maybe next layer only three. And then two. So four, three, two. Two all the way until we get up to three and four again. So three right here. And then two right here. Okay, I'm good with that. I don't know if I have enough basalt for that, but there's only one way to find out. Okay. Four right here. I don't think I do, actually. Three right here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Yep, we're good. Okay. Perfect. Um, what can I do for the back wall? What do we got? What do we got here? Granite. You can never go wrong with granite. Or blackstone. I could use blackstone. Or maybe like a combination of granite and blackstone. So let's do that. Let's use half granite, half blackstone. I can rotate it. Um... I got seven minutes left, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm seven and a half minutes in. I got 22 and a half minutes left. Math with Raleigh Ryan. <laughs> seven plus seven is 30. The more you know. Okay. So we can kind of do like a four, three, Kind of thinking like that. Uh, how do I do that? So three twice. Then two. Then we can go. Or I could do that. And then go back to granite right here. And I could do three for the granite. Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, don't panic. Panic is the last thing you want to do. Plenty of sand. Out of sight, out of mind. That's my philosophy. So let's go under the water here. I'm sure this is a waste of time, but whatever. To do it underwater, I mean, as opposed to above water, but I don't want to mess up what it looks like up there. That's my that's my mining philosophy. Like, if I get rid of this, then I'm changing what the world looks like. You know what I mean? So I always like to mine, like, out of sight. That's what I mean when I say that. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and take these. And start kind of making theoretical shelves. You know what I mean? Of, like, merchandise.
You know what I should do, actually? Let's do that. Register. Interesting. Merchandise, merchandise. Mm. This is interesting. This is tricky because I don't have a ton of space. You know what I mean? And I also need to do a floor and a roof. So I got to be relatively quick here. Probably like this. Like this. So one, two. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. One, one, two, one, two. That doesn't quite line up. That's okay. We're just going to have to live with the fact that it doesn't quite line up here. This can kind of be like a janitor room or something. Or an employee-only room. Okay. All right, let's make it daytime real quick. Finally, I have a build challenge that I'm actually right next to the bed. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh-oh, that one's out of line somehow. Now, as for, here's the next question, okay? What about the register? That's going to be tough. Also, is there any dogs within the vicinity and do I have any bones? And I'm not stealing the dog from there. Dare I venture out? I think I do. Honestly, I just don't think there's any dogs right here, though. I think we might need to have a pig. Come here, Mr. Pig. Then we'll, like, trap them in, like, a boat or something. No dogs, you gotta you gotta you gotta find a way to adjust on the fly, you know what I'm saying? Ah Alright Mr. Pig, now that you're over here I have to make a boat really quick. You can sit in an acacia boat. Okay, hang on, Mr. Pig. There we go. All right, come here. Mm -hmm. Can't be that. You, you can't be so fat that you can't fit through there, right? Come here, dummy. <laughs> okay. Come on, bro. You can't be that fat. Get your ass in here. Thank you. Jeez. Now, sit in this boat. Thank you. All right, good. That worked out. <laughs> it took a while. All right, here's our little employee. Okay, do I have any coal or anything? Or not coal. Um, I want something that looks like, like a cash register. You know what I mean? That doesn't really look like a cash register. Well, whatever. Hello, Mr. Pig. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. A couple of these are still off compared to what they're supposed to be. There you go. Now, I feel like what I need to do is make a ton of trapdoors. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I feel like I need to make a ton of trapdoors here. 
So let's do that real quick. And put them on the shelves. So it looks like instead of just being like normal wood, we can actually have like... Oops, that's not at the right layer, apparently. Oh, shoot. How do I want to do this, actually? I feel like I kind of want to do it like this, actually. Okay. Where are we at? We're at 15 minutes. Can't forget about the roof here. I also cannot forget about, uh, let's just keep doing that. Um, the other thing that I can't forget about, well, there's several things, but uh, the back there. I need to finish placing the, uh, the glass. Okay. I could put signs in the front there. Maybe I could put signs in the front there that are like, uh, explain what item is theoretically there. Also, I need to do something about the floor because I don't want the floor to just be grass. That's the wrong way. Okay. Shit. Yeah, you can tell, I can tell just from like how much easier it is for me to build this compared to the, um, this can be different. Um, do I have any, I do have a fence, good. I was gonna say this, that can be different. That doesn't, uh, okay. Now I need some sort of material for the floor. I don't think, maybe I can put the tough bricks back here just because this is like employee only. You know what I mean? The employees get a better quality floor than the customers apparently. And I can do the same thing back here. Oops. Perfect. And then this can be employee only as well. So we can also get this back here as well. And then the actual customers get like worse materials. What can we actually give the actual customer though? Die right. Ooh, I realized I have to do something about lighting in here too. Shoot, I didn't think about that. Lighting, roof, floor, back wall. That is our current kind of to-do list. All right, yeah, that'll do. So we got four things left to do and we have 12 minutes to do it. Acacia by chance? I don't. Okay, glowstone. We're gonna have to throw some glowstone in here somewhere. Maybe like hanging down. Crap, do I not have enough diorite? Oh good, I do. I was gonna say, there's no way, dude. I need this pig to not fall. <laughs> All right, we're just going to real. Okay, we're just going to pretend like that one is just. Oh, that's how I can do it. Okay, perfect.
Okay, perfect. Um, next up. First off, let's clear something out. Oh, okay, apparently it's not actually nighttime. Uh, what can I use for the roof? What do I have enough materials for to use as the roof? I think I need to mix it up again. Deep slate bricks, blackstone, tough bricks, I guess. Kind of a triple, triple trouble sort of deal. So I'll do it layered in case I don't have enough tough bricks. Oh, sorry, Pig, was I just stepping on you? <laughs> Man, I just don't know if we're going to have enough time to really build an exterior roof here. Okay, then we can do deep slate bricks. Even if this doesn't really match necessarily, I feel like I just have to do it this way, just because I don't have enough materials. Then we can go back to the tough bricks. Crap, I need dirt, dude. What else can I throw in there? Do I have enough granite? I do have enough polished granite maybe to throw in there as well. Then let's get some dirt so I can actually build my way up. So we'll do granite as well. I know these the ceiling just ain't gonna match y'all. That's just that's just how it's gonna have to be, unfortunately. But you know, whatever. That's alright. Uh what was first? Tough bricks. Then blackstone. Then we got uh, deep slate bricks. Ooh, barely had enough of these. And then we had granite again. And then the uh, tough bricks. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to take a little bit of an L on the ceiling, I think, on this, in terms of like the exterior and the interior, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get this glass. Finish placing this. Pray that I actually uh, got enough glass in the first place to finish it. I did. Good. Okay. Um. Now I need signs and fencing. I think that's what I need, signs and fencing. So signs for the theoretical items and also to show employee only. One more set of signs. Fencing, I do have acacia fencing. And then I need more trap doors. Oh man, do I have any more wood? Good, I have that. Okay. I was going to say, I really don't want to have to use birch trap doors. No offense, birch, but okay. How do I want to do this? Kind of, so uh, let's see. How much is there? One, two, three. There's nine. How did I do this? One, two, three, four. No 
Nope, right there. Okay. Screw it. This is how we're doing it. Okay. Then we can just have some trap doors. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I see. Man, I'm telling you, dude, these oak trapdoors are so easy to use compared to every other single type of trapdoor. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Do I want to do anything right here? To, like, signify this is kind of, like, different? No. I don't know. I don't think so. Like, it's probably going to look a little weird, but still. Um, yeah, we're going to have to bail on doing anything on the roof, unfortunately. Like, I hate to do that. I hate to say that, but... Um, produce. Sure. Wood. Meat. Uh, what can be on this one? Plants. Ah, uh, no, I already have plants. So let's do uh, sand. All right, sand. Let's just say sand. Okay. This room right here can be an employee only. Then employee only right here. Yeah, interior's done. Can I do anything on the, on the ceiling there? Can I do anything on the ceiling really quick? Or do I even want to take that risk is the bigger question. I think the answer is I don't actually want to take that risk. I know we still have two minutes left. And I know it's just kind of a square, a cube. But man, I don't want to mess this build up. I think this turned out... Oh, you know what I can do? Uh, no, you know what? I think we're going to call this a couple minutes early. GG, baby. 28-21. I am so happy with this. I think this one turned out really well. I love the interior here. How can I take a picture, though? That's the interesting thing. We're going to have to get a little creative with the uh, thumbnail, I think, here. Oh, I know what I can do, actually, for the thumbnail. Let's just go ahead and kind of create a little perch. Maybe one. Try and get the pig to look over this way. Yes, Mr. Peg. Look at me. Fuck. I mean, darn. Guys, no swearing. Swearing is not caring. All right. Y'all, I'm happy. Thank you so much. Funny stories. What is it? Funny AI stories 69. I appreciate you. Awesome idea. Thanks for being such an awesome, loyal viewer. 
and I hope you enjoyed. I will be back on Friday, not Saturday anymore, Friday, September 27th for the Grindathon version 3 live stream. We're going to be going seven hours and we're going to be collecting a crap ton of uh, materials. So I hope to see you there. If not, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Sayonara.